Hey guys, Uncle Yo here. So as you know, I do a lot of conventions throughout the year, which means I spend a lot of weekends in hotels. A lot of them not having very well equipped kitchens, a lot of them not even having microwaves or refrigerators, and a lot of you guys, I know that you're in the same boat. Wherever you end up going, whether it be a hotel or a motel, you don't have to sacrifice quality of food and leave yourself, you know, pretty much constipated and balled up for Monday morning, suffering on just a, a basic weekend long of sugary energy drinks and uh, just overpriced Japanese snacks or jellies or sugars or chocolates, you have the option of being smart enough to pack something in your car that could actually save you and your diet while you're at the convention. Ultimately, I don't want you spending $8 for a single bottle of water at, say, the Jacob Javits Center for New York Comic Con, or the Los Angeles Convention Center for Anime Expo, or wherever they end up having San Diego Comic Con. I think Detroit, recently, that's the newest city. I want you guys to carry a single bottle of water and just refill it on the fountains. I want you to save as much money as possible so you can spend as much money as possible in the dealer's room. I don't want you driving out into the boondocks just to satisfy yourself to eat at a Cracker Barrel or a Red Lobster because you decide to pass the Mason-Dixie line. You have a chance to taking care and cooking for yourself. Here's a couple of the items that I recommend bringing along for a longer car ride. One is a water boiler. I understand that most hotel rooms are going to give you your coffee pot. Now understand, that's a source to get a hot pot as well as warm water. Hot water that's hot enough to say melt ice, enough hot water to drip in and cook yourself a ramen noodle, an instant noodle, so there's your substitute for a microwave. But why bring an electric water heater? Because this bad boy can actually boil eggs. You can also just dump in some Campbell's soup and there's some hotter soup. So long as you don't mind a, a little bit of a cleanup afterward, bam, you've got yourself a meal. Another option, the crock pot. Anyone who grew up in the South knows how to work a crock pot. You can cook up some meat, you can cook up sausages, you can do chili, and so long as you set this bad boy to low, you're not gonna burn the hotel down. Leave it, go to the convention, and when you come back at the end of the day, bam, there's your meal. Big enough crock pot, you can feed all four to 18 people you might be cramming into your hotel room. A crock pot gives you unlimited options to work with soup, to maybe work with some meatballs, to work with a big protein. You can roast a chicken in these bad boys. You can look them up online. Great ideas at life hack, great ideas at crock pot recipes. Now another option that some people have brought up to me in my panel, how to survive at Anime Con, rice cooker. You don't have to just use it to cook rice. This bad boy in 20 minutes is going to pop up, and so long as you uh, drained the rice ahead of time, as in you gave it a couple of uh, swishes and a couple of rinses with uh, your running water, which they give you in almost every hotel now, you can use your rice cooker to cook rice, as well as steamed vegetables, steamed fish. You can make entire meals in a rice cooker. All it's going to take is anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes of prep. You don't have to cut up anything unless you really want to, and then the convention's going to ask you, why are you bringing in all of those kitchen knives into a basic motel? And you're going to say, you've never had to walk around Otakon at 2 in the morning. You have to defend yourself. You also need vegetables. Every day, basically, you need something like three meals. I tend to think you need one big dinner meal, and the rest of the day you can sort of snack. You can do something a bit lighter. You're not going to die or pass out unless you're diabetic or, or you need insulin. I, I have no idea how to deal with that. You people take it with a grain of salt. Unless you can't take a grain of salt, I'm not here to offend you. I'm not here to kill anybody either. Every day you need a fruit, you need a vegetable, you need some grain for a meal. That's where a lot of your carbs are going to come. And you also need a protein to keep your energy up. Spoonful of peanut butter by the way, is going to suppress hunger for a good hour. If you're going to a convention and you're going to stay in a hotel room for more than two or three days, don't bring anything that needs to be refrigerated. Bring something like dried rice before it's cooked. Uh, bring something that doesn't need to be refrigerated. Do not bring your meat. Do not bring vegetables or fruits, though, or, or, well, fruits that you can keep outside, but nothing that needs to be refrigerated. After more than two hours of not being refrigerated, most of your food has already gone bad. The bacteria that can cause you harm have already had an unbridled breeding fest, and they're just waiting to cause havoc down in your intestines. Don't ask why the vivid imagery inquired an orgy. I want to introduce you to some other ideas and examples. Someone suggested at a, at a panel that we bring in a quesadilla maker. Why? Because a quesadilla is super easy. You can get a bunch of flat quesadillas, a pack of something like 20 for maybe 
five dollars at the local grocery store. Throw in some beans, throw in some cheese, maybe a can of diced tomatoes, maybe a can of just corn, and bam, there's your vegetable and maybe some and maybe some rice and your bread, all in an easy to deliver sandwich situation. Quesadilla maker, quick, flat, easy way to cook up those things. A George Foreman grill. Well, the difficulty with the George Foreman grill is going to be cleanup. I don't recommend those bad boys, especially if you like bacon in the morning or you're dealing with something like pork chops. Another option I recommend, a hot plate. A hot plate, combined with a basic saucepan, is going to give you an option of boiling up any water. You can boil any water that you can get from either your sink or your bathroom sink in your basic hotel. With the hot plate, you have the same option as maybe with the rice cooker, as you have with the crock pot. Heat, boiling water. Most of our food requires something to be boiled. Or, if you need to bite the bullet, if you absolutely need to, I have survived weekends on just peanut butter and jelly. Yeah, I understand you're supposed to really refrigerate the jelly, but there's no real fruit in jelly. It's just a jar of sugar versus that jar of peanut butter, which is just kind of sugar and oil and maybe a little bit of protein to hold off hunger. So yes, you can do a day on a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, leave the convention, prep your food, come home at the end of the night, rather than driving the half an hour, waiting two hours for your party of five to be served, drive back to the con, you can just have the crock pot going in your hotel room. I want you to spend as much time as you can at the convention. I want you back and forth from your hotel room just long enough to pick up more snacks or just eat a solid meal so you can go on dancing and partying for the rest of the night. I want you to eat something hearty like rice or pasta or a hard boiled egg. I've done that in, these, in the, the hot water pots. You can do that, keep the protein going so that if you're 21 or up, you can drink not on an empty stomach. All right, folks, that's everything I've got here in the kitchen for right now. Those are just some, uh, I think, quick shortcuts and helpful hints to keep you guys well nourished for, you know, without breaking the butt, without breaking the wallet, without breaking the bank. A way for you to stay healthy and well-fed and not broke at a convention, hopefully. All right, I'll see you guys next time.